Well, hello, everybody. My name is the Muff Bandit. I'm sorry we're a little late today. Uh, we've had some server issues. We may run into some in the future, but for now, we're good to go. Welcome to Squad Ops. This is a One Life event. My name is the Muff Bandit again. I'll be commentating tonight all by myself, giving you good angles and hopefully pertinent information. Uh, as for this operation, this is Operation Coyote Ridge. We are here on this beautiful map, Iho Rivka. It's a cloudy day. Hopefully, we won't get any rain. And it's going to be the U.S. against Russia. This is a really fun map uh, operation, mostly catered to infantry. All infantry, for the most part. We don't have any armored vehicles. And it's going to be USA against Russia. Their kits are identical. For now, we're still warming up. We're still getting everybody in here. Sorry for the long wait that everyone has to endure. Even the U.S. aren't ready. We're, we're still getting set up. So you guys will get to watch a little bit of this happen. Um, I'm going to go over command and squad leaders real quick since everybody's waiting. Good. Again, U.S. against Russia. Our commanders are Expit and Shadowed Ritual. Both these guys have done this plenty of times. Veteran commanders, maybe not Shadow Ritual so much, but this is a infantry base. A lot of not so much moving around doesn't require a lot of quick reaction forces. So this should be a very good back to basics, uh, push, move, clear, conquer type of thing. Uh, I'm going to be following. Who am I following? All right, I'm going to be on Shadow Ritual's side. This is going to be U.S. So they're going to be attacking the Russians down in uh, on Coyote Ridge. It's Operation Coyote Ridge. So we've got Juliet 9, Kilo 9, and Lima 9. They can set up their fob anywhere in there. It looks like they've chosen Lima 9 on the east side. So Xbit's going to hold his guys there with his squad leaders being Swine, Silas, Cap, Matt, and Digit. Digit, also known as Old Iron Ass. He can take a rocket to the butt, keep moving. But the attacking force over here, Shadow Ritual, he's got himself four squad leaders too. Jack Reynolds, Sightless, SM Pure Paradise, and Tedish. Now I'm sure some of these guys will be cameras for us too. We'll get into that a little bit later. You'll see all these awesome first-person views and whatnot going along with that. In the meantime, we got these sweet little overlays we'll throw up for you here, and I'll go over assets, the main objectives, all that other stuff. Uh, so you can get a little visualization of what is going to go down here. All right. So the U.S. get, as for assets, they get two automatic riflemen, one grenadier, and one medic per squad. As a platoon, they also get two transport trucks and two lodgy trucks. Now, those lodgy trucks won't be running supplies. They're going to be strictly for transportation just to get some extra spots in there because transport trucks can't hold everything. The Russians, same kits. Two automatic riflemen, a grenadier, and a medic per squad. However, they get they get one fob and two lodgy dumps. That means they'll be able to place their fob up on Coyote Ridge and Lima 9 that they've selected and resupply it twice with their logistics. And then they can build HMGs or bunkers or mortars or whatever they see fit. As for the objectives, it ought to be rolling over to that right now. The Russian forces have set up a forward operation base. Uh, operation base in one of the three sectors, J9, K9, or L9. They've chosen Lima 9, kind of on the east side, which uh, could, could buy them some extra time if the U.S. decide to come in from the west side. Uh, the U.S. forces have been tapped with uh, clearing the Russians out in that area, and we can see them coming from any angle they want. And the Russian forces start at their chosen fob location. So, as for that, That's that's about it. The Russians are going to defend that big ridge. The U.S. are going to be pushing it. Uh, there's a little bit of mobility restrictions. There's a line here. I'll put a couple marks. I'm not a squad leader. Never mind. There we go. Pretty much right along here. Put marks down. Yeah, anyway, 7-8 line. The, US can, or the Russians cannot go north of that. Holy cow, wrong line. There we go. The 7-8 line the Russians cannot go north of. That is their only mobility restriction. Uh, vehicles can go anywhere. The U.S. can go wherever they choose. This is basically to just keep the U.S. from getting assaulted by the Russians right away and, and kind of make it a more of a defend for the Russians. Let's see. The Russians can place their 
their fob and hab so that the rest of the team can come in. And let's see. I'm going to keep going here. That's it. That's about it. The, the U.S. are going to push in. You'll probably see them surround it, do a little uh, maybe guerrilla tactics or something to move the Russians around while they try to get the advantage. And that's about all I got. Let's go. Let's go into. Let's do an interview real quick with Tedish since he's here. What's up, Tedish? Hey. All Trying right. Trying to pilot and get this shit ready to go at the same time as chat with you. So a little bit distracted for another thirty seconds, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we got a lot going on right now. Trying to get this going. We're squad ops going through some changes right now. It's nothing anyone needs to worry about. It's not going to get any worse. We're just going to get better. And with that, looks like the U.S. are they're getting ready. They've got their stationing area set up, got their lodges, their transports here. Yep. And uh, hmm. yeah, this is a really fun map. Uh, done this one before a few times. Um, really intense infantry combat in the dense, claustrophobic foliage. So it's a tree to tree. Um, yeah. It's beautiful. Advanced. This is one of my favorite. Yeah, it's great. It's totally it's really one of my fun. favorites. I love it. I'm an, as most people know, I love to play infantry, and that's what this is catered to. So I really love. You guys are gonna see me streaming at first person uh, later tonight, since our main man Pen won't be here. But you're U.S. this round, Tedish, and you guys are attacking. What What do you think is a good plan to go about this? I'm not sure what Shadowed Ritual is gonna choose, but what's a, what do you What would you do if you were a command? Well, I mean, you kind of got to look at where the avenues or approach are, and I would say either the east or west. Coming in directly from the north, you got to come up the ridge, which can be nice if when you get up to it, but you got to get to it first. Um, yeah, exactly. uh, they're trying to do a brief at the we same time seen, we're doing this. <laughs> we've seen good success from the west side pushing in, and maybe that's why X. Oh. I can't reveal any information to you. You're on that. You All right. You may have already. <laughs> so, X bits in Juliet 9, Kilo 9, or Lima 9, I'll tell you that. But, uh, <laughs> but there is definitely, <laughs> dang it, I'm sorry. Everyone's going to laugh at me now. I'll uh, just pretend yeah, I didn't hear anything. That's from the West because there is a lot of tree cover and you can get pretty close without, without getting detected. We've seen that happen. And like you said, coming in from the north, once you make it to those rocks on that ridge, you're in pretty good shape. On the south, however, wide open fields. Wide open fields to a wide open hillside on the southeast. So that's pretty tough to get through unless you have got everybody throwing smokes. Um, I can see that the U.S. are now starting a little bit of brief in here. So that's cool. No one's really joining yeah. in yet. We've just got our main, our main people here. Yeah, and you're you're br you're briefing right now, Tedish. I'll let you go, man. Good luck to you guys this round. All right. Yeah. Thanks. We'll see you in there. See ya. All right. Shadow Ritual's getting his guys going. Yeah, we're already a half hour behind schedule. I'm sorry, everybody. Should be uh, only about five minutes into the hour right now. That's okay. We'll see people joining in soon. It looks like they've got almost everyone into the live operation here. But this is where the U.S. are going to start up here in Sector Four. They got a little ways to go. You can't. You can. You can barely see down there. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Yeah, they're way down there. You can see the rocks. No, you can't. It's probably a little foggy and everything, but that's where it's going to be from up here. And they can use those four vehicles as transportation. That's it. They're just going to be for transportation. Let's buzz over. We're going to buzz on over to the. To the Russians, see how their defense oh, plan goes. They've obviously set up in Lima Nine, near, actually closer to Kilo Nine now. So they pushed it west a little, probably a little too open. The far side, cruising over there. This is kind of going to give you the top shot of the defense area of Coyote Ridge here. Now this is mostly it. You can see a lot of the rocks going down, jagged rocks on the ledges and cliffs, trees everywhere in there. And as you get down there and you're on foot, it becomes even harder to see everything. I'll even start cruising down that way. 
But once the U.S. can get down to the bottom of these rocks, you know, it's the Russians got to be real close to see them down here because they're they're really tucked down here. So they can they can mosey along these rocks or meander however they want to, as long as they stay down and out of sight and quiet. Let's see. There's their fob. They got the fob sitting right there by the leader exit. If you push in from the what is that east west east if you push in from the east they've got a little bit of cover but not a lot of wide open areas and if you could see to the north of x bit it's pretty open there's some open fields very open hillside and yeah this is a good one it's a lot of fun let me check check Does anybody got any questions if anyone's watching has any questions feel free to ask We'll let you guys follow Xbit. He might do a briefing pretty soon here. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and remake my squad. There we go. My squad. There we go. Cool. Let's see, Easy Reader just asked, is your group solely North American? That is a big no, Easy Rider. We are not. We have got a whole EU we've got a whole EU team almost. And this event right now is catered to the EU. You're on you're on Digit right now. He's he's EU. He's from the Netherlands or something. He's one of our admins. So we've got a, a great EU group. We've actually made this event for the EU crowd because it's it's earlier in the day for us in America. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon here for some of us. So this is good. It gives the EU guys time to play. They don't have to stay up until four in the morning or later. And we've got them joining in. You can see the Russians frolicking in right now. A lot of guys coming in. We're gonna get the kits sorted, and we'll be going soon. Looks like a platoon they start a few minutes. All right, Han Solo and Kilmore spawn in. Now let's see. B Dog asked, "Do you know how many are in the live op this session?" You know what? It's full. It's going to be full. There's. It's going to be about thirty-nine on thirty-nine because we've got me floating around and we've got another person recording the session from his own angle. So we'll have a good thirty-nine on thirty-nine. This will be fun. Nice full squads and a whole lot of brotherhood. Cap going to be going on here to make the victories happen. I don't know how to do anything. Let's see. And go over them squad leaders again. Well, join the club, bro. For the US, we've got Jack Reynolds, Sightless, Pure Paradise, and Tedish. You guys have all done it for the most part. Their teams have not spawned in. It appears that they are organizing their kits and stuff before bringing them in. That's, that's a good strategy. Make sure everybody's got what they need, and then they can all spawn in. Just a wave of people. I believe some people call it waterfalling, which makes sense. And I'm not sure. I'm going to try and get down and follow the follow one of these briefings just so I know what's going on here as soon as it happens. When they all jump on Shadow Ritual, we'll be on him and we'll get this briefing. Let's see what it says. Here they are. Some are spawning in. Oh, we got some cameras. Penn's going to throw me a list right now, or he'll tell me, and we're going to go through them. These are the guys that really make it happen. This is this is the awesome part when 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 you get the action going, and and you see us above looking at it, then boom, it's going to cut down to somebody who's down there in the action, and you get to see the first person firsthand what they're seeing and what they're experiencing. So it's really cool. You get to live this operation from so many different viewpoints. So there's me and Shadowed Ritual, yeah. of course. It's pretty straightforward. Next is Xbit. He's command. That's that's our two commands. Uh, we've also got Mighty. Got our feller named Agalok. Who else? 
Yeah, we got a few more. Tedish, the man who was just in here for the interview. Squad leader. Our EU man, Digit. He's in here. I think our last one is Han Solo. So, that's it. What do we got? Two, four, six, eight. Like eight of us or so. So that's good. And they're, I think they're spread out on the team. So you get to see different angles, different viewpoints. Operation All right, we're gonna we're gonna cut you over to Xbit. Uh, this round we're defending. We're You'll get to listen to the Russian so briefing right now. Us here. I'll be quiet for a minute. So the general plan is that the U.S. troops are going to be starting in Sector Four. Uh, they get mobility in the in the form of two transports and two lodges, so they can hit us from any direction. Uh, Squad Four is going to stay on that the uh, fob mark, and they're going to build kind of defenses around it. Uh, they're going to put down two HMGs to cover their approaches to the east. Squad 3, uh, Silas's squad. They're going to deploy two fire teams. Their Alpha and the Bravo fire teams. They're going to put them on the MG marks, one up in Mike 8 and the other one somewhere in November 9. They're going to be sort of the OP uh, kind of units for us, just in case the U.S. does sit, set up on the east side of the road and come in. At least uh, we'll establish some kind of... Uh, contact with them and then allow the other fire team to adjust and hopefully we can get a count on how many is out there like if it's just a squad or it's the full full platoon hitting us squad one captain matt squad is going to set up on the sniper mark that's in the forest uh, just north of the uh the coyote kind of ridge rocky area so i want them kind of I want uh, squad one's fanned out there in that whole grid of juliet eight just to once again be a force that uh comes into contact with any U.S. movement through the forest area there. Uh, squad, where did they go? Squad three. <laughs> no, yes, squad. Uh, squad four. Oh, squad two. Digit. I mean, swine. <laughs> Jesus, my list is all messed up. All right, squad mm -hmm. two. You're going to go on the HMG mark far off to the west, right? So that's the most common approach we've seen before. Is every you know full platoon push from the west. So uh, swine's going to be. Uh, the first contact out there once again spread out all through the indian nine grid kind of like on a squad line just facing west and uh keeping security to your south and north so generally the plan is, is we're going to establish contact hopefully on one of those approaches uh we should be able to see them hit us from the north direct or south direct we have eyes across these different fields so depending on which uh, side we take contact at first the other side may go ahead and swing around and flank them or fill, fill back into the uh, the FOB location here to provide extra defenses. But uh, if you lose command, if you lose any kind of you know contact with the command, your mission is to come back to the FOB. This is our Alamo, and this is where you need to come and hold out. We need to defend this until the end of the round. So uh, that's the basic plan, kind of outer defense layer, right? And then the inner kind of jelly of the donut. So once they get to the jelly of the donut, it's, uh, we got to fight hard got to keep them off so if you're one of the outs flanking squads just remember your movement may not be coming direct to the fob your squad leader may be taking you on a flank to uh come up behind the enemy or flank them from the side all right any questions awesome all right perfect well squad leaders go ahead and break them out get your fire team set and uh break down the final plans you have and good luck to everybody All right, you just heard the Russians. Here we go. We got just in time for the U.S. brief. Let's listen to Shadowed Ritual. A lot of new people. Yep. That's awesome. Love new people. So excited to learn and die. <laughs> Alright. Well, Zavar is the only one out here. Uh, give me comms, give me comms. Alright, everybody, welcome to Operation Coyote Ridge. We are tasked with eliminating a Russian FOB located on the ridge line at K9, J9, and L9. The uh, plan is going to be pretty simple. We're going to mount up on in our transports and logi. 
We're going to head south along the central MSR and we'll dismount at the crossroads right next to the uh, sniper mark. One, three, and five will proceed, or all the whole platoon is going to proceed south towards the green fob mark and we're going to get online and prepare to push east. It's going to be two is going to be the most northern element, one, three, and five, with five being the most southern element. We're going to push east from the green fog mark and just sweep through the woods with two just being ahead of the main uh, the main element uh, firing south through the uh, through what we're trying to uh, push through. So two is going to be the maneuvering element. One, three, and five are going to be the uh, base of fire. And we're just going to sweep through the woods. It's a pretty simple plan, but it's proven to be pretty effective. Are there any questions? Yep. Um, yeah. GLs, make sure you're using your smokes to mark enemies. Don't just think you have your HE rounds. That's pretty much the only thing that I want. GLs, make sure you're using your smokes. Uh, if not, squad leads, break them out for any uh, details you want to go over, and I'll set for live. All right, well, we just heard Shadowed Ritual give his guys the briefing. They're going to scatter and load up in vehicles. We're going to be live in approximately 45 seconds now, actually. And uh, let's see. Yep, they, they've gotten to vehicles. Uh, getting ready to rock. Uh, got a lot of questions. First one I saw was, are there special rules like no optics? Yes, there are. No optics allowed. Uh, if you give one person the optics, they automatically become Superman, if you know what I mean. If you know how to use them and you got that sight advantage with the distance, you're going to put in work. And it really ruins the fun for a lot of people if they're just walking along and four of them get dropped really quick by a guy with, the, with optics. So uh, you can still make good shots with iron sights and good long ones. It just takes a little bit more, more time and effort. So uh, we're going to be going in about 10 seconds here. We'll follow the U.S. as they assault down to the southeast towards Coyote Ridge, as we've called it. Uh, let's see. Anybody else have any questions? Did I miss any? Yeah, we're gonna. Here we go. We're live. Oof da. Looks like our server is having GPS issues. The server can't drive. Oh boy, here we go. You can see him jerking a little bit. This is this is part of our delay. We've we've been having server issues, and um, you guys don't worry. Don't expect this to ever happen again. We're in the process of making some changes. We had really good server providers right, before this in Blue Bank Solutions. Stuff, they did a great job, but we've uh, decided to self-host. Uh, we just didn't ha quite have that ready. So we're we're on a Blue Fang Solutions server right now, and they're going to handle us just fine. From what I see right now, I'm going to get my butt over here farther. U.S. are pushing to the west side of Coyote Ridge. They're going to be attacking there. I didn't see all of the Russian briefing. However, I do know that they brought a squad over to this west side to cover, and I think that's squad two, which is Swine squad for the Russians. They've also got Cap Matt and his squad down below the ridge, actually on the base of the ridge. They're going to go to that 7-8 line probably or push farther north, I'm guessing. You can see Captain Lat Matt leading the way down there. His squad in tow spreading out a little bit. Another squad, actually just one squad with two fire teams spread out to the far, far east side. That's squad three, which is Silas' squad. And, of course, X-Bit's got his... His other squad up here. And that would be, I believe, Digit's squad. So Digit's got one squad with him guarding the fob. He's pushed another squad off to the west to stay up north in the trees to try and intercept or at least get, get visuals on them pushing in. The first thing that Russia wants to do is find out where the U.S. are coming from and then sort themselves accordingly to defend that. Now, the U.S. is probably going to try and you know, look one way, you know, fake one way and go another. So let's see. It looks like they're dropping off almost all of their team here. They might just be coming full in from the west side. 
And, you know, I wasn't paying enough attention during the brief. I got to get better at that. <laughs> Hopefully you guys were watching. <laughs> I don't know what the U.S. plan was. But it looks like they're coming in from the west side. And this is going to be good. Okay, let's get going. Come on. Remember, it's 2 1. All right. Okay. Alpha on left side. All right, repeat that. All right. Uh, we're just gonna Two, just gonna one, sit here and wait three, for a second. Five. They're gonna be moving. Yeah, line order. We'll stay up here. Right. Oh yeah, that whole U.S. force—they're dismounted. They're on foot, and they're getting ready to come in from the west. They're either gonna run into Captain Matt's guys first, or Swine's guys. Both of them are up here, pushed far west, making sure they get the jump on them. They want to know they're coming. How much distance do you want between the, the sections? Uh, let's try and do. I'm going to get down here on Swine and see if he can actually see anything through there. Yeah, see, once you get down here, it's nothing but trees and bushes and grass and rocks. and I mean, it's, it's like autumn time or something because right, the golden yellow and the light greens. All right, I hear Tedish calling contact. He's got contact southeast. Let's see, where is Tedish? I don't know where Tedish is at, but you guys are on him. You're going to see where Tedish is looking. That's where the enemies are. Ah, I got him here. Okay, yep, he's seeing Swine Squad. Yep, definitely saw Swine Squad. Could have been Vortex and Lucid. Most likely these guys right here. No shots yet, though. And I we have no comms as far as the Russians go. I'm going to be following the U.S. both sides as they attack. He's confirmed at least three. He knows they're there. They, however, don't know that Captain Matt's squad is coming in really close. And uh, that could get dirty quick. Look at all these U.S. soldiers. They got the field lined up. They're moving strategically. Jack Reynolds leading the way of his squad. Uh, Pure Paradise has his guys lined up on that uh, rock wall and inside the field. What else do we got? We got, got a whole other group coming. That's Sightless. He's got his squad with him, Hendo, Rocky, Keevan. They're all moving. Looks like, looks like Rocky and Hendo are the, the trailers of Jack Reynolds' squad. They're, they're looking. They, they got their eyes out. They've definitely got to get through this field, though. That field and the tall growing stuff. I don't know what it is. Wheat. Yeah, it's wheat. Or grain. Hearing them. All right, I hear the slow walk east. They're going to make a huge line formation and slowly push to the east. Let's watch it go down. First guy to take a shot is probably going to be Cap Matt, as in he's going to shoot first. And get just annihilated by M fours. Talking about that actual ridge, so the uh, ridge proper, where you saw those guys at. If you guys see that top yeah. left of your corner, that's Agalock. He's part of Captain Matt's squad. He's kind of on the north side. He's on the far north side. Yeah, just one. Just one contact. Nice slow push. Here comes Jack Reynolds' squad pushing in from east to west, or west to east. This whole U.S. force, big up here. Oh, we might see a GL shot come out. These guys. Good spread out. The spread here by the U.S. is really well. They've kind of got a little stagger, but the the terrain's different. You gotta you gotta go where it's safe, where you feel safe less exposed. So they made it across this field. Jack Reynolds' squad has. Good for them. They're about to run into some shit, though. And you know, the communication is great on this side for the for the U.S. I'm hearing 
each command talking plenty. They're coordinating really well. We're going to have our first action on the south side here. Looks like Fortex, Peyton QQ, and Lucid are right here. I see Jack Reynolds aiming. He takes a shot. He hits Fortex once. That's our first shot of the match. Fortex is healing. All right, we got contact direct. Position is compromised. All right, Triton takes a shot at Lucid. He's unable to hit him for now. There goes grenades. Metzger goes down on the south or on the north. A lot of action up close here. Oh, Russians going down. Great GL. Great GL there. Captain Matt's squad spread out. A little outnumbered. Oh, on the north side. Good work by Jack Reynolds' squad. They've wiped out half of Swine's defenses. Now, the Russians have lost two, four, six, about eight guys already, with the U.S. taking no casualties, as far as I can tell. Excellent push. Look at this. Look at how far spread out the U.S. are. This is where it gets really hard to be the Russians on defense because there's a quarter mile of freaking U.S. soldiers pushing this thing. So they have to look north and south to feel safe. Yeah, people do get injured, B-Dog. They, they'll take fall damage and stuff, and they won't run to a medic to get healed. They won't realize that they're actually damaged. Oh, man, Swine is down. That's one squad leader for the Russians down. Most of his squad is also no longer amongst the living. Oh, you're going to get a... Good little view. Tedish is down. He gets popped. Rough one. Rough one for the, the poor U.S. They're losing one squad leader. Well, now both teams have lost one squad leader. And the Russians have lost pretty much full squad. Swine is down. Captain Matt is still alive. Oh, you think it's cool to look at, Snowzy. Wait till you play in it, man. This stuff gets intense. Get a workout, at least cardio, because your heart rate goes so high doing this stuff. Who that that northern or sorry southern push is just kicking butt. They're halfway in. They've got about two guys left to destroy, and that'll be it. We're making good progress, guys. Good We've got We've four, three. five guys left on the north. Cap Matt's only lost right half of his squad. They're they're holding them. They're they're stalling them. If nothing else. And if they can fall back, now's the time to do it. I don't know if they're going to be able to. They've got a long ways to go. Captain Matt goes down. So that's another squad leader down for the Russians, as well as one of his, his men. He's down to four guys in that squad. There's nobody left. Swine squad has been completely wiped. Got some good work here. 15 kills to five. So U.S. doing a great job pushing in. This, is, this can be very much a Russian-based or Russian-sided event. If they hold the line right, but more, uh, good push, good formation by Shadow Ritual, just bringing everybody up, in from the west side all at once, and now they're reaping the benefits of it. Hey, good job clearing out this initial contact. Uh, one. Did we take any casualties? So turtle far? guy, fi turtle guy oh, five pushing okay. in. Oh, there's Rate taking shots. That's Dagos and Sekatsuya. Pushing him, rates bandaging. Turtle guy five is moving to the north a little. Okay. Be south a little. Two, how's it going? But man, look at that! This this whole push on this south side. Great work by them. Captain Matt's squad still alive. They held off half the team. <laughs> rates the last one yeah, left, and he is surrounded. Tear gun or turtle guy five are gonna looks like tear guns got him. Yep. Yep, tear gun got him. Good job. That's two squads fully wiped. Except maybe Scrunty. I wonder if Scrunty's in one of them squads, because he's all by himself running away. He's doing what they should have done a long time ago. Three. All right, now we've got a long ways to go. Xbit put his fob on the far east. Uh, I see some folks saying they're going to buy this game on the next sale. Well, we'll give you a little information on this fob. This is the fob right here. We'll have this overlay pop up so you guys can see what's going on. But this fob 
basically lets the team build anything. They can build anything. All those sandbags in the front, that giant hab, HESCO bunkers, emplacements, including machine guns and mortars and bunkers, uh, giant HESCOs, anything like that is all because of this fob right here. It's got a certain build radius around, I think it's 150 meters, but that is required. Not to mention the logi dumps. These two logi trucks right here, they dump the supplies so that they could build this stuff. You can't build anything without supplies. So those logistic trucks run all the awesome. stuff, and they are still digging. They're fortifying their area. And looks like a bug there with all the legs coming out of it and stuff. You keep following. You you keep following them. We got a minute. You know the U.S. They're going to take their time pushing in. They're going to make sure they're organized, coordinated, collectively ready to rock. In the meantime, you need to look at the Russians facing the west because that's where they're going to be coming from, and they know it. Okay. I have no idea. It's going to be real. Take, take that monkey right there, yeah. I got Mighty over here looking looking north. He's kind of looking out into the looking out into the nothingness, but you never know where they're going to come from. Could have been a distraction. He's making sure they're not coming in from the north or anything. It's going to be hard to get in from the no east side too. East command, but there is their defilade on the other side of the road that doesn't let me see. I know, uh, no one saw me. I was on the very back line. We'll just bounce you around everybody's first person view for now. Well, everyone else but they were moving in this direction, anyways. Oh, man. I'm going to go get you guys a bird's eye view of this US line. It looks just excellent. Looks like they are in great formation, just slowly pushing a whole swarm of them. Just a mob of them there. Couple guys out front to. Do the scouting, and everyone will move forward with them. You can see guys crouch. There's even a couple of them prone. They are in no hurry. They know they just they killed a few guys. They definitely know that. All right. Sounds like Jack Reynolds is going to grab a couple guys, make yeah, a buddy team, good. send them south. I'm going to head south here. Now, they don't want to send a lot of guys because there's not a lot of cover here. So he'll probably send them south while they still have a little bit of concealment and cover through these trees and bushes. And they might try and sneak up over onto one of these hills and see if they can't look down here and get a better angle at what's going on over here, which is where the action is going to be. You can see there's just Russians all over. they got sandbags. They're even surrounding the trucks with sandbags. They've got guys on the exterior. Basically, just formed a perimeter so that they can, they're, they're going to be able to take contact yet fall back if they need to, so they can engage them twice before they have to, you know, go all in. Let's just keep watching. Let's keep watching the U.S. slowly push. There's the fire team. That's uh, FHB Hendo and Wonder. I wonder how far they're going to go. We'll, we'll keep checking in with them as they move. Yeah, once again, the commands are Expit for the Russians and Shadowed Ritual for the U.S. Now, they're both still alive, and I'm sure each of them has lost at least one squad leader. I know Expit's lost two. He lost Captain Matt and Swine. The um, Shadowed Ritual has lost Tedish. So we'll see. We'll just keep on following them. They're getting closer. Let's see how that buddy team's doing. They're still up there. Wonder if the U.S. are going to wait or not. I see Hendo and Wonder pushing, but they're not in any hurry either. They don't know what to expect. They have no idea where the enemy's at. But it looks like the commands are doing good. Their teams are following orders really well, too. Oh, look at that. Russians, Russians got the rocks lined. I'm up above them here. They got those rocks lined with dudes. One, two, three, four, five, six of them right there. So they, they have nothing to worry about from that north side. It looks like for the most part, they're looking east. They're looking where they lost their two squads at. All right, we're through the Jake. He fed now. Got can on the go. Shadow Ritual just informed his guys that they've gotten through the Juliet keypad or grid square. They're into Kilo. Kilo and Lima to go.
You guys can follow Shadowed Ritual. He's the commander. I'll tell you what he sees. Ooh, I'm noticing something. There's a fire team on the south, on the very north side, and there's below the rocks, underneath them, in elevation. So if they keep moving, they will be spotted by Mighty and Company up there on that hill. You know, I'm not sure who that squad leader is over there. For them, not sure, but probably Digit or Silas. They're the only two left. But look, they're all spread out there, even on the hillside. Truth realms in the wide open. I'm surprised no one sees him yet. Anybody seen anything? Down here and zoom in. So oh, and he would be visible. If they were looking, they would probably get eyes on him. We're about to uh, hit the uh, downward slope hill, so we'll be able to... Oh, you know what? Looks like maybe Kill, Killmore and Technoc. Technocris. They may see him. And this could very well be a distraction. These guys could very well be a distraction for the rest of the U.S. soldiers. They can come down here, get the attention, take some shots. Uh, looks like Digit's coming down there. They've definitely been spotted. Digit's the squad leader for that squad. And they are... Yeah, there's the shots. Dagos takes some shots. Lifing goes down. Zabari is getting peppered by that thing, but he isn't taking any hits. He's, he's prone behind a tree. Here come the shots. So the HMG... Did it? Did some work already? It's paying off. See tracers going. Now we're getting some shots fired. SNP or Paradise. He was a squad leader. He goes down. That's two squad leaders down for the U.S. now. Contacts up on the road, I believe. On the road? Yeah, I'm hearing shots from. Uh... All the Russians are looking south or east. Oh gosh, here comes a, a U.S. from the north. That's Hendo. He's going to get up here. And oh man, if he gets seen, he's in trouble. We'll get a quick little look on his action. He's just laying there. Oh gosh. Let's see if he can poke a few of them off. He's going to gotta poop his pants when he sees what's up here. Oh man. Oh, he drops one. That was silent death. He's down. He pulls out a grenade. He throws it. That's not going to hit anything. But the Russians know he's close. They're also very close. They're coming in from the south now. Mighty's guys are holding their digits guys. Yeah, fall back to the digits coming control. back to check on him. He's having them fall back. Would they took a few casualties. To digits got them falling back. The, uh, Hendo goes down. Looks like a grenade got him or something. Like, Wonder's the other one yeah, in the, the scout squad. He's all by himself over there. Let's let's get a look from the U.S. point of view as they're pushing in. They see trees and smoke right now. That's about it. One, so as two, you move through your, here, uh, it's just down. hell. Uh, Around any corner, there could be anybody, any bush, anything. There's USMC torched crawling through the grass. Sneaking the grass. He's being patient. The US are being patient now. They've got a lot of work to do to get through this. Jack Reynolds called Eyes on Hab, so they've located their target. And all you can hear those those HMGs lighting them up. Looks like one guy got eliminated from his gun. He's no longer in there. Let's check out the kills here. 25 to 12, so still great shape for the U.S. There, the swarm technique is working. If they can get in from the south side, yeah, uh, north side, they're not too worried about that. They, they're more worried about a stalemate down yeah, here. But you keep rounds? that half squad busy. Yeah, four. Put a smoke round zero nine zero, like uh, 150 meters. All right, digits down in the northeast. So the U.S. are pushing in. They've okay, got Jack Reynolds there. leading the way. He's taking them on. Oh man, fun guy five. Is about the only guy left besides that northern defense. Oh gosh, yep. Everybody pick a corner. So the U.S. have completely taken this north side. They've got the wide open field. As long as they stay spread out, they're pretty grenade proof for now. Let me try and get rid of some of all this action here. There we go. And then bam. 
097. See all the. It's going to be our next goal. No names, so we can see all we the bodies running around. Two, four, six down below on the north side. That's Jack Reynolds' squad. And uh, Jack Reynolds is still alive. They're in there. Let's see if Xbit's still yeah. alive. He is. Command is still alive over there. I don't know if Shadow Just Ritual hey. is. Evan, they're right up against that sandbag you tried to mark. All right, both commands are still up. Good grenade by somebody. Put it right in there. I don't know who that was. It was a great job. All right, it's a GL. Yeah. Very great job. I think it was... I don't know who it is. A statue or get rid of our sandbags. Oh, there goes some again. sandbags. Mighty goes down. Squad one requesting a medic. There we go. Some of these sandbags are getting blown up. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I see Dr. Unique up here holding the west side all by himself. He's slowing him down, throwing grenades. Oh, his grenade gets somebody, too. He got torched. USMC torch. Good grenade. Great job by Dr. Unique. He's got yep. Terry the Tally. Zabari's still over there. Zabari hasn't moved much since he got just throttled by that HMG. Watch the guy behind him go down. He's playing safe. Here comes squad from the north. And they are taking shots at him. Xbit. Xbit himself, the command, taking shots to the north. He's backing off Triton and Wonder. Fulcrum's in there. South. Yeah. Yeah, they're all around. Any standout players today? Suck it, Skuya, kicking butt up there in squad two. Terry the Tally's got five. Hendo got five. So the U.S. got some good killers going. Oh, man. Here comes the big force from the east. Or the west. Alright, x fits gets shot. He's bandaging. Not a lot of guys left in here for the Russians. They're gonna try and They're gonna try and look as big as they can for now. Let's see how this West push is doing. A lot of guys here. Shadow Ritual doing a good yeah, job staying way in the back. He's even got a bodyguard with him. Alright, let's keep looking. Put around on that fifty. Almost no, nothing. Terry's, Terry's too but the Alamo fob right now. Russians are just surrounded now. They are getting hammered on. They've got nowhere to go. Oh, another one goes down. That was inverted for the Russians. That, fo that hab is getting just railed with gunfire. I don't know if the, if the Russians can kind of wrap around on that south side, or on the north side, they might be able to, to get a little flank on this incoming squad. Let's see if Dr. You know, Dr. goes down. X bits down. Another grenade, taking out some sandbags down there. You can see him blowing up. That's really cool watching those sandbags blow up. Fun Guy 5 and Silas are the last two with the hab. Grenades are being thrown, and shit's blowing up. Oh, down goes another. Silas is down. It's Fun Guy 5 all by himself, guarding the hab. Scrunty is to his west, and that is it. We're down to two guys. We're down to one guy. Scrunty's the last man standing. And he is all by himself on the east side. Copy that. Excellent work by the U.S. forces here. They've dropped 35 to 17. So they only lost half their guys pushing in. Let's see what Scrunty does. I think he just realized he's the last one. Oh, he takes out a Satru. He's like a sat down, a Satru. He's going in. He's going to do the flanking thing if he can. He's the last one. He's just going to take some with him, it looks like. Peeking ever so slowly. Can't quite see those guys. I'm just going to follow him around. I bet you if you guys could hear his heartbeat, it would be like bump, 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 going pretty quick because he's the last guy left and he hears multiple guns shooting. He's hearing things blow up. He's obviously a little bit afraid because he's not pushing in too much. He's just waiting for someone to poke their head out. And he's a medic too, so if he gets shot, he can fall back and heal. Oh, he's getting shots. He hits him once. That's Keevan. He even gets him. That's a good game by for everybody. Throw down the GG. Great job by the Russians holding it at the end there. It looked like they were going to get really swarmed, but they held it for a while. Uh, we, we never really well together, so 
That went that went great for the U.S. They just brought in everybody from the west side, and they cut, basically just horseshoot them as they came in. They surrounded them from three sides. Good job, everybody. Good work, everybody. Oh, thanks, the neural. I try to be punny. Anyway, we're going to swap sides. We'll be back. We're going to, let's see, quick break. We're going to run an SOTT for you guys. Uh, we've got our advanced West. I think we're just going to do the basic because that's what everyone has to do. Uh, if we have more time, we'll run them both. Otherwise, we'll be back shortly. And you guys can check it out. Let's see here. Hendo got five. Suck it, Scoo. You got eight. Good job by him. Terry the Tally got six. How did we go on the Russians? Dr. Unique got three. Scrunty got four. Good job. Good game by all teams. That was fun to watch. It's always fun to play. I don't uh, even know how much I got yeah, whatever the hell went harder than me. And you know what? We'll do it. We'll do a quick break. Let these guys reorganize their teams. We'll be right back with some live action. For now, watch some sweet videos on our training.